Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're in a new location. Regular subscribers may know that I'm in the middle of a house move, but hopefully in the middle of a house move. Uh, and we're moving. Um, my fish room in my old house needs to go to the new house, but the new house isn't quite ready for it. So, what you might do in this situation is rent an entire flat to keep your fish in. So, that's exactly what I've done. I've rented the flat above a shop, like a common person. Let me know in the comments if you get that reference. And I've spent the last week or so building this big rack out, filling it with tanks, filling the tanks with water. Had the tanks filled for a day and a bit, two days in some cases, and we're ready to get fish in. So I've moved the first load of fish across. So we're ready to go in the tanks. Let's go and have a look and see what we've got. So before we do that, let's have a look at the rack and see what we've got. This is a big dug rack. I'll leave links in all the descriptions about all the bits and bobs that I've bought. And we've got 10 tanks on it at the moment. Not quite sure whether that's going to fit the need, but I'm hopeful that I can get all the fish that I need to get moved into these tanks. Yes, they will be too small for them, but hopefully it's going to be for no more than a week or two. Um, maybe a month tops, he says, crossing fingers. Um, but we've got two... These tanks are just over two foot long by a foot wide by a foot and a half tall. Same tank there, you might recognise this guy. He's the first inhabitant, he's in there already looking all pissed off and uh, we've got another tank that's two and a half foot that way but 18 inches that way I'm thinking discus Humphrey angels and then a mishmash of other things and then over here if you look from the side you'll see these are some of the smaller tanks you might have recognized from the fish room in the old place and then those tanks there so there's one two three four so ten tanks in all hopefully that will do the job for us and um, the big dug rack itself it is six foot by two foot by seven foot something like that and um, so it's a big old unit i've actually got two of these i've just built this one here for now uh, and like i say the idea is this is a bit of a boarding house for some fish while i sort out the new place and make it ready for the new fish room but over here is the first lot of well apart from humphrey this is the first lot of fish that we've transported over So let's have a look and see what we've got. I've already moved Humphrey because he came in a bucket because there was no bag big enough or I didn't have a bag big enough for him. And the rest is just the first lot that I've moved from the fish room. And we're basically just going to take them out, float them for 10 minutes. The temperature should roughly match. The water parameters do. I've been doing lots of testing. It's not your average unboxing. They've been bagged for about half an hour or so. So they should all be fine. So the first bag is the Blue Star Endlers. So we'll put them in one of these tanks. Next, I think we've got the Shtick Endlers. So we'll get another one. The marvellous Mutt Guppies. And they are marvellous. Look at these guys. The colours on them, considering they've just been moved as well. And these are the Wild Guppies. These are the Tiger Endlers. <laughs> My one remaining danny -o. He's been living with the angels for a while, so you can continue to do that. Uh, the angels. So we'll just get them in when I'm thrashing about in there. Sorry, buddy. Some people are probably think that it's mental to go and rent a flat just to temporarily set up a fish room in it in the middle of a moving house. And if you want to know the reasons why, please go and watch some of the older videos I've gone into a little bit. But basically, went through every connotation of ways to do this. And just because of the unknowns and the amount of fish and fish tanks that I've got, this was the best option. Just to rent them a flat, set up a temporary fish room and get it going. So... I've been running these tanks for a couple of days, like I say, just with air stones in them, and I've brought over a bucket full of cycled filters, sponge filters, and some plants and things like that. So while they are acclimating or acclimatizing, depending on what side of the pond you come from, I'll go around and I'll swap the air stones for filters, um, and then we'll get them in. In terms of getting things ready for the move, did a lot of things the same you would do when you're shipping fish or moving fish anywhere and a few things that I'm not going to do. So I have starved all the fish for a day before I bagged them up um, but I'm not going to 
do any kind of acclimatization and drip acclimation or any of that. I'm just going to dump them in. I'm not going to separate the water because I know the water they've come from is good because it's my water. And I know the parameters match, so I'm just going to get them straight in there. It's very much the plop and drop, um, but the dirty plop and drops. I'm just going to cut the bags open, tip them out, water and all. First mistake noticed, I brought the wrong type of filter. I meant to bring a bunch of small filters and a bunch of big filters, but I've miscounted and I've brought one extra big one and one fewer little one. But better to have too big than too small, I suppose. The other thing I did was I spent hours the other day balancing all the air stones. So the, the reason I put all the air stones in is because I've got, I think I've got four or five different air pumps up there, all connected to splitters and valves. So I wanted to be able to get them right so as I could just come and drop everything in. But as soon as I've attached the filters, they've obviously acted differently. And now I need to go and redo that all again. So yay! Right, they've all been in about half an hour now. I've turned the lights on just so as we can see what's going on in there. So far, no casualties, so that's a good thing. Um, but let's take a closer look at each of the tanks. And you might be wondering, why have you got lights if you're never going to be here? The idea is I come here once a day to feed the fish, to change the water, and that's about it. But the lights have to be somewhere, so they may as well be here. Um, so everyone looks happy, except for the angels. So let's have a wee look at them. This is the angel tank. Um, so in all the tanks I've just put in a little bit of java moss and a few floaters just to give a little bit of normality, some protection, sense of safety. But these guys, they just, they're not happy with me. They're giving me the stink eye. What have you done to us, Graham? Why have you moved us here? So... They've always been a bit grumpy every time I've moved their tanks and I have moved and upgraded their tanks several times over the year or two I've had them. Um, so I'm sure they'll settle in fine. I've not actually bought any fruit this time so I need to go... Did I just say fruit? I've not brought any fish food so I can't even feed them but I think that's fine. I'll come back tomorrow with the food. And in amongst all the plants and the java moss and all that, there will be little bits for them to nibble on. You can see the little Danio snacking on something. So that's fine. This tank here is empty at the moment. I'm kind of swithering whether to make this the discus tank or that one. That one's slightly wider, but that one's slightly longer. No, the other way around. But yeah, they're about the same volume wise. Uh, I'll probably have the discus here and then all the discus tank mates there just to spread the bio load a little bit uh, but then this tank we've got the wild guppies so there's a big fat mama some of these look really cool I don't know if we're focusing on them or not this tank looks really good here actually this is the the muck guppy tank and if I can find them, my special friend, the little white one over there. As you can see, they're snacking on the stuff that's on the filter. That's good, you can give that a bit of a clean for me, guys. Uh, this one down here doesn't look too happy, but he's fine for now. I'll we'll see if he perks up in a bit, but everyone else is swimming around looking happy, so hopefully we're okay there. But again, some brilliant colours, I've just seen that one at the back there. A little one. Uh, but yeah, lo lots of cool fish in there. This one's the Blue Star Endlers. Again, all looking okay. Some ram's horn snails have made their way in as well. And like I say, it's just a couple of floaters in each one and a big dod java moss. To keep them happy. Uh, these are the shtick Endlers, which the light doesn't really come on this tank properly, why is that? It's a bit squint. There you go. 
they're just hanging around in the roots. A couple down there, a couple up there, a couple at the back. They should be okay. And then one last tank of the tiger enders. So these aren't all the fish. This was just the first batch that I've bagged up. So there's still a load more tigers at home. There's still a load more wild guppies at home. And so there's an extra tank there. And I can bring over more tanks as I free them up as well. Because we've got some space down there for extra tanks too. So last but not least oh we've got angry humphrey happy as ever took a chunk out of my hand the other day when i nicked his heater out of his other tank so yeah before you all come at me in the comments yes i'm aware this tank is too small he can turn around as you can see but hopefully it's for no more than a couple of weeks what a guy though even after moving his colours look really good. I was a bit worried about him because I didn't really want to have to take his tank up here because it's got quite the flight of stairs to get up. So hopefully he'll be alright in there for a few weeks. And then, like I say, empty tank for the discus or their tank mates. Whichever way round we decide to do it. So, there we go. Just another update, there's going to be a series of these and if you like this sort of thing please click that subscribe button because there's going to be more of this and um, maintaining this temporary fish room as well as building out an all new, bigger and better fish room in the new place. Uh, but for now, I think these are possibly the most expensive fish I've ever kept given that I'm now paying rent for them. Um, some might say I'm completely mental and I'm not sure I could disagree with them but I'm loving this, hopefully this works out for me. Everyone looks okay so far, so long may it continue. Like I say, click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!